determine the relative and absolute extrema of the given function. We have f of x equals the sine of 2x minus 3 times the cosine of 4x. And the graph is provided here on the right. Notice how the function is continuous over its entire domain. Let's begin by highlighting all the high points and low points on the graph. Notice how we have several high points along the top. And we have several low points along the bottom. Let's begin by identifying the absolute extrema, where the absolute maximum is the function value f of c, where f of c is greater than or equal to all the other function values f of x for all x in the domain. So notice how these three highest points here have a y value or function value of positive four. All their function values are less than or equal to four. Four is the absolute maximum. And now let's take a look at the lowest points on the graph. All of these points along the bottom are the lowest points on the graph, where notice how the y value or function value is negative three. Negative three is less than or equal to all of their function values, and therefore negative three is the absolute minimum. And now to identify the relative extrema. A relative maximum occurs where the function changes from increasing to decreasing, and a relative minimum occurs where the function changes from decreasing to increasing. So again, the relative minimums will be high points on the graph where the function changes from increasing to decreasing. So these three highest points here do represent relative maximums. Notice how the graph changes from increasing to decreasing, and therefore the y value or function value of positive four is not only an absolute maximum, it's also a relative maximum. And then we have these three high points here. They're not as high as the highest points, but they are high points in the interval around these points. And again, the function changes from increasing to decreasing, and therefore the y value or function value of positive two is also a relative maximum. And then finally, the points along the bottom are all low points where the function changes from decreasing to increasing, and therefore the y value or function value of negative three is also a relative minimum. So it is possible for a function value or y value to be both an absolute extrema as well as a relative extrema. I hope you found this helpful.